Turtle Wax new additions to their hybrid solutions line is the ceramic acrylic black wax and the ceramic acrylic black polish. And since it starts with the polish, that's where you get the correction. And that's what it always intrigues me first, since I love paint correction. We're going to start with that. And we're going to start on the panel first before we jump to a car. As you can see, the panel here is stressed, aged, swirled, scratched needs to be brought back to life and we're going to use their pads they have um, some pads coming online with the dimpled surface to keep the surface cooler and these are very effective so we're going to throw this on the uh, max nine polisher we're going to get a couple drops on the pad and we're going to get the work removing the imperfections so basically when it comes to corrections this has the same correction style and effectiveness as the uh, polish and wax with their platelet technology as uh, when it comes to abrasives. These can be bought separately. The uh, ceramic acrylic polish, black polish, is 20 bucks for the 14 ounces, and the ceramic acrylic black wax, we will look at that later, that is 16 ounces for, I believe, $16. You can also get it in two kits, with one with a 5.5 inch pad and one with a 6.5 inch pad as well. So we're just going to do uh, two passes here equal to uh, a, a crisscross pattern on this little test area and see what we can remove. Within this rich formula, we have some infused black pigmented carnauba wax. We also have some resin acrylic. We also have some SiO2, some polymers. So a nice rich formula to help restore the finish of your car. This formula, just like the other ceramic polish and wax, is excellent for uh, cars with paint jobs that are stressed and aged and thin, where you don't want to shave a lot of that clear coat off. This has filling capabilities, minor filling capabilities, and we will see that. Now, when it comes to professionals, that seems to be a taboo um, subject. However, I believe it's very important for vehicles with high mileage, old, older vehicles with thinner clear coat, as to I'm not afraid to um, save that clear coat and not worry about my ego removing all of those imperfections. Yet, maybe filling a few and saving the clear coat for some more mileage, some more years to get out of that car and um, more uh, time for the clear coat to save that gorgeous base coat underneath. So I have no problem with fillers uh, at all, really, especially with old, thin, aged clear coat. There's only so far you can shave it. Let me remove the masking tape and you can see the huge difference in turnaround uh, we made in just a few short quick passes now, I, there is something to know with the product when you're working on soft clear coat especially if you have uh, spiking temperatures on that panel if you're working in direct sunlight outside it may be hard to wipe off and you saw me there spraying a little bit of water onto the microfiber that may have worked with the old recipe with just the ceramic and carnauba and polymers with this formula grab yourself a microfiber applicator put one little pea-sized drop on there and gently massage it into the area where it's hard to wipe it off it will reactivate the formula you can wipe off easily so there's a quick tip and this is exactly what i mean grab a microfiber applicator just like this just one uh, dot or one little drop will do it but you can also use this product by hand uh, on your car. And I'm going to show you the difference you can make just using it by hand and three droplets on a microfiber applicator in this little test area. Another thing I did show you while I was rambling on, uh, just excuse me, I am excited about this product here as I work on a lot of uh, black colored vehicles and a lot of them are aged, a lot of them are single stage, where the acrylic will really help uh, put a shell on top of that very absorbent paint. So can't wait to use the product. But I did show you that the pad will get stained. These are pigmented um, molecules. They will get into your pad and they will be very hard to remove. I'm going to show you that a little bit later. So after doing this little section by hand, let me remove the masking tape and you can see the huge difference there.
Very impressive by machine or by hand. By the way, if you use it by hand, you're not gonna have a problem even wiping it off on softer clear coats in warmer temperatures. It's only when you're spiking temperature using a machine on soft clear where you might have a little bit of problem wiping it off, but no problem reactivating and wiping off. And you could see the huge difference in gloss. And really no time at all you'll be around the car. Talking about a car, let's get to one that needs a little bit of help. This is a black vehicle. It has love marks from car washes and improper wash technique. Let's straighten that out. All of those imperfections are impeding the gloss, as you can see here. We'll get a measurement when we're done. Let me mask off a small section on this fender and I'll get to work. Because of the pigmented molecules, I would definitely mask off trim, headlights, taillights, and you don't have to worry about wiping it off. That will do it. I'll remove the masking tape and uh, wipe off the residue, which is easy on the harder clear. This is slightly harder than the hood we were working on before. And I'll bring you guys in close and you can see the difference. Also, just like any acrylic or SiO2 product, you want to give it uh, full cure time, proper cure time, 24 hours minimum, 48 is even better. And then after that, you can do whatever. You can top it with their ceramic acrylic black wax or whatever you choose. There's the before, and here's the after. Not perfect. In the little valley of that curve there, I could probably um, go over it one more time if I needed to, but very impressive. This will be the jump in gloss and it's not even fully cured. You can add maybe two to four points on top of that when fully cured. And as I warned you earlier, this will be the look of your pads. Clean them often in between every pass at least. I wouldn't let it go any more than every panel. It's going to take a little bit of elbow grease to get them clean and they will not come perfectly clean no matter how hard you try to clean them.
Okay, let's jump back onto the test panel that's outside now, and it's also had 48 hours to cure. So let's take a look at it now in direct sunlight. Both areas done by hand and machine. A lot of turnaround, a lot of correction. A combination of correction and a little bit of filling. How much filling? We're going to find out after the 10 wash test and after the traffic film test where a lot of that will be washed away, how much of it was correction, and you'd be surprised how much was. Repels free-flowing water just like the other products. So let's get on to the 10 wash test, if it survives that. I have the chemical standing by for the traffic film test as well. For the most part, it breezed through the 10 wash test. There's a little spot right there where it seemed like it weakened a little bit, but let's continue on and head over to the traffic film test. You'll see here that the traffic film test 
Directly following the 10 wash test is just a bit too much for the product holding up. When it comes to uh, its water repelling properties, that doesn't mean the protection is gone. I'm going to dry off this area and you're going to see that the correction still remains and there's still a bit of protection, acrylic, a little bit of SiO2 that remains. It's just whatever was in the formula to make it bead like crazy has broken down. As you can see, still looks wonderful. Yeah, the product is for a small niche category, black cars. It does work fantastic on very dark blue, dark green as well. I'm going to hold my reservations and final thoughts for after we test the ceramic black wax, acrylic black wax, that will follow this one. See you then, guys.